A convolution integral looks pretty scary. They are, however, very important for us, for example, in systems and signals for LTIs, linear time invariant systems, or in probability for adding random variables. And also, when we are studying Fourier transforms, we will encounter those convolutions a lot. And in this video, you will learn how to compute a convolution, and you will get some intuitive feeling for what a convolution means. So, what's the definition? Suppose we have two functions, u and v, uh, and then we can compute a convolution denoted by a star, u star v, that yields a function of x. So, what do we have to do? You use xi as a dummy integration variable, and you integrate from minus infinity to infinity with respect to xi. You plug in u of xi times v of x minus xi. So, that's the definition. Okay, but what does it mean? Well, often x is interpreted as time, x, so you put x equals t, time, then uh, you get a, a y of t, uh, uh, and uh, uh, if you compute then the convolution of x star h, you get a function of t, how do you do that? Now we use it as a dummy variable, often the tall, because we are really thinking of time, integrate from minus infinity to infinity, and you use a x of tall, and in h you put a h of t minus tall. So, what can such a convolution mean? Well, that depends, of course, on the interpretation of inputs like x and h and y. Uh, for example, if you have uh, LTIs, linearly time invariant systems, uh, then it can be interp interpreted as follows. Uh, your x of t is an input signal, and your y of t is your output signal. And what is then your h of t? Now, h of t is an impulse response, and that's a response to a delta peak at t equals zero. So what you do uh, if you uh, compute such an uh, integral, you basically decompose your input in all kinds of delta pulses, and uh, sum them up, uh, multiplied with the response to such a delta pulse, and that gives you your output response. That's a, uh, well, say the start of systems, x signals goes much further. That's one way to look at it. Another way, uh, for that one we look at an important special case. If you have, for example, that our functions are zero if t is negative. So functions only uh, 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 have um, uh, are non-zero for positive time. That means in particular that the h of t minus tall is zero if the argument over here, t minus tall, is negative. So that means it's zero if tall is bigger than t. Now what happens then to our integral over here? Now the functions are zero if the arguments are zero. So uh, if tall is, uh, sorry, the functions are zero if the arguments are negative. So if tall is negative uh, over here, the uh, integral does not have a contribution, so you can replace this minus infinity uh, by zero, because for, for negative tall, your function is zero anyway. And the integral also is zero if this argument here is negative, so if tall is bigger than t, so for tall bigger than t, you also don't have any contributions, so you can replace this upper boundary here by t. So then you have this formula over here, y of t equals now integral from zero to t, x of tall h of t minus tall d tall. So that's the formula for the convolution in this case, also some kind of interpretation uh, in terms of probability densities. Suppose you have a child at school or a daycare and all kinds of viruses there, so let x of tall be the uh, probability density that your child is ill at t equals tall. Now, of course, child child has parents, uh, and suppose now uh, the, the, the father only gets ill uh, due to the child, due to the virus of the child. So the uh, h of t is the probability density that the father gets ill uh, after the child gets ill. So uh, suppose uh, the child is Ill, Ill at t equals zero, then h of t is the function uh, the child that the father gets ill uh, after that. Now, what's the uh, probability density that the father gets ill? 
well, what do you have? And the chance that the child gets ill at all, uh, times the chance that the father gets ill at the delay, at t minus tall, so delta t later. And then you have, of course, to add up all the times the tall that's where you integrate. So that's why your y of t gives the uh, probability density that the father will get ill. So that's a, a second interpretation of a convolution product.